Welcome, young art adventurers. I'm Lauren, and today we're going on a fantastic journey through time and art. Get ready to learn about a remarkable woman named Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz and the most famous portrait showing her. Sor Juana lived in 17th century Mexico. In Juana's time, it was a rarity for girls to have much education, but Sor Juana was no ordinary girl. She had a deep love for books and an extraordinary talent for writing. Now let's talk about the famous portrait of Sor Juana, painted by the artist Miguel Cabrera in the 18th century. He could make art come alive with his paintbrush. His bright, lively colors and lifelike portrait make it feel like we're stepping right into the past. In this portrait, Sor Juana is dressed like a nun. Nuns were women who lived inside a special place called a convent. They dedicated their lives to serving God and helping their community. Inside the convent, they prayed, learned, and often took care of people who were sick or needed help. It was a life full of service, very different from what many other women did back then if they were married and started a family. Sor Juana became a nun because it allowed her to read and write. Take a look at the big round badge below her chin. It's nun jewelry. Nuns sometimes wore these special badges and they were made from fancy materials like tortoise shell. They usually had pictures of the Virgin Mary, who was an important figure in Christianity. Mary was the mother of Jesus Christ, and she was a role model for nuns because she was modest and obedient. Sor Juana also wears a super long necklace with a cross on it. That's called a rosary. Cabrera wanted to remind us that she was a nun through these details. Sor Juana's love for books and learning shines through in the painting too. Cabrera included a giant bookshelf filled with books in the background. It's like peeking into her library where knowledge and stories were waiting to be discovered. She owned more than 4,000 books. Can you imagine? Cabrera also included scientific tools on the shelves, reminding us of Sor Juana's passion for learning. But it wasn't just learning. She wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote. Her poetry, essays, plays, and music all became famous. Now, Sor Juana wasn't just smart. She was also incredibly brave. She believed that girls should have the same opportunities as boys to learn and become wise. Even when some people disagreed with her, she stood firm in her beliefs. Unfortunately, this bravery came at a cost. She was forced to give up her library and stop writing because some people found her voice and mind threatening, especially because she was a woman. Now let's talk about the special symbols that Cabrera put in the painting. Artists of this time often used symbols to convey deeper meanings. In Sor Juana's portrait, you'll see symbols typically associated with wisdom and learning, like a feather quill pen and an inkwell. These symbols tell us that she was incredibly smart and well-educated. In some of Sor Juana's other portraits, she's shown writing, but in this one, she has an open book instead. We can even see what it says, and it's related to a holy saint named Jerome. He lived a long time before Sor Juana and was also a famous Christian author. And guess what? Saint Jerome was super important to Sor Juana too. She was a nun in a convent devoted to Jerome. Miguel Cabrera's portrait of Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz helps us remember a brave and smart woman from Mexico's past. Keep in mind that Cabrera didn't paint this portrait with Sor Juana sitting in front of him. He made choices about how he wanted people to think about her almost a hundred years after Sor Juana passed away. I hope you've loved learning about Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz and Miguel Cabrera's extraordinary portrait. And remember, the magic of art and the wisdom of history are waiting to inspire you on your own adventures.